Are you tired of looking like this after a night on prize picks? For the price of that Big Mac combo you chowed down on this week, get access to hundreds of picks. Connect your Discord to WAP with the link in the description and be added straight to the premium Discord. We'll be sending every single prize pick slip we place. Let's get some prize picks in today, guys. It's a beautiful sight when your slip goes at perfect 6 for 6. A nice 25x or 80 into 2k. No, it wasn't the one from the video, but I know a lot of people from the Discord watch these videos and we were all sweating this one out on Jackson. He needed a touchdown in the last around minute and a half and he actually ended up pulling through. So we got that. And then on Underdog, we also went up a couple units. We had this one, this one, and this one. So 1800s in returns, but we put about 13 slips. So that's $500 in profit or five units, depending on how much you're betting. We also hit this one this morning, but that's for the today's profits. Starting the week off strong, we went up about 25 units last night. So 2K for me. So other than that, we also almost got this one on hockey one off on michael madison he just got that last assist that kind of ruined our entry as for the picks from the actual video i actually did not go too well here so three and three and none of the stacks hit right so i was going Cade bojan to hit together didn't hit fred and jabari to hit together also didn't hit and patrick williams and damar to also hit together did not hit so three and three but none of the stacks hit none of the what i was going for ended up happening so i'll show you how it does look when the stacks are hitting so i did recommend the jalen hurts and aj brown on the under which did hit so if you got that one too guys congrats on that but here is a good example dylan brooks hit with sangoon so brooks on the over points sangoon on the over assist hit together tyrese and buddy healed also hit together of course we got the direction wrong but had we went unders on both these this is another perfect slip, right? So Jalen Hurts and AJ Brown also hit together. And it was a get out to the board for today. I have some NBA, of course. It's a bit of a small slate, but John Morant is back. We're not going to be taking him, but if you do want to use this John Morant taco or any of these tacos in general, I do recommend just grabbing John Morant, take him on the over points, of course, and then go over to NFL and just take any of your favorite triple stack in the NFL. So, of course, if you like Matthew Stafford, you're going to want to grab him with Puka and you're going to want to grab him with Cooper Cup. So just stack it like this. You got a nice little four-man Obviously, you have to wait till Thursday, but it's good. If John Brown hits, then you're just relying on Matthew Stafford to be throwing a lot of passing guards, and hopefully Puka and Cup are getting a lot of those, and they probably will, right? They're the main receivers, so you're going to want to put this one in for your 25. I'm not going to be doing it, but that's just what I recommend. Obviously, don't flex play it. Power play it. Power play all of these, and then you get that nice chance of a 25 into 250. So that's how I recommend playing all these tacos. I'm pretty sure price is going to be dropping them throughout the days. They even got one for Connor McDavid here. Of course, always take the tacos. They are discounted. They are more likely to hit than any other prop on the board. So grab this. Even if you don't know hockey, just grab Connor McDavid over two and a half shots on goal. So get into the actual picks. We're going to start off with the Spurs game. And there's two props I like, but I'm waiting for line movement because right now, on the points props, Vassal and Kelvin Johnson, I think, are a bit too low. So if you like the overs, I recommend taking the overs on either of these guys. I'm waiting till Kelvin Johnson gets bumped to 19.5. I want to take Kelvin Johnson under 19.5 points with Zach Collins under 3.5 assists. But since I'm filming this, they didn't bump it yet. I don't know if they will, but if they don't, I will probably just take him at 19. I'm going to go with something else. I'm going to go with Devin Vassal on under 3.5 assists. And I'm going to be taking him with Zach Collins on the under 12 and a half points. To walk through what I'm thinking for the Spurs team, of course, I was talking about Kelvin Johnson on the under 19 and a half points. You can see every sports with Kazem at 19 and a half, which is why I said it's a good pick at over 19. If they do bump him, I do think the under is good, of course, as I just explained. And the reason I like him with Zach Collins on that under three and a half assists is because Zach Collins does have a lot of juice towards the under three and a half assists. I'm surprised Price Pick still has him on the board here. Minus 130 on a couple of books, minus 135 on BetMGM and minus 120 on points bet. So Zach Collins and Kelvin Johnson is a very, very good duo to be taking. I've checked all their game logs and how often they hit within the same direction. And 18 out of 24 times, they hit in the same direction. Meaning if one's going over, the other one is likely to go over. And if one's going under, the other one is very likely to go under too. And the reason I was going for the unders is, I mean, look at his spread, minus 16 and a half. Of course, this game is probably going to end in a blowout. And people are not going to be getting their minutes. They're going to be getting benched. It, it's Blood City in the NBA recently. And a lot of people complain about blowouts. But there's this one simple trick with blowouts. It's called taking the unders, guys. I know everyone loves taking overs. If you're scared of blowouts, take unders. Anyways, that's not the actual pick I was going with, as I just explained. But if Kelton Johnson does get bumped, take him. But we're going to go with actually Devin Vassell on the under three and a half assists. He has some juice kind of all over the place. Caesars has some juice towards the over. Final has some juice towards the under. Generally, it's about 50-50. The reason we're taking the under again, I just explained blowout potential we're going for on this game and we're grabbing Zach Collins on the under 12 and a half points I really like him at 12 and a half rather than 11 and a half you can see how many times he actually got this 12 and uh, there's a lot of gray bars here and you know when I drop the prop to, down to 12 there's one two three four more times that he actually went over that 11 and a half so at 12 and a half I do like it and you can see he only went over that 44 percent of the games and just Devin Vassell and Zach Collins as a combo do hit quite often together 60 percent of the time I checked in the game logs 
that they went in the same direction. What Zach Collins is he does take three. So I mean, he only hits about one a game on average. But if he does hit two, let's say he's at like six points, hits a three, he's at nine, he hits another three, he's at 12. We're still hitting at that 12 and a half. So I do like that fact that even though he's a three point shooter, it's not really going to hurt us to have him at 12 and a half. Unless he gets a 10 points and hits a three, then we're screwed. But just to say, it's a pretty decent prop. And the pairing with Devin Vassell has hit 60% of the time. So 12 out of 20 games. That is the reason we're going unders on this one right here. Next, we're going to over to the Celtics game. Where we're going to grab Derek White on the over assist with Jalen Brown on the over points. I like this one just because I know it works. I've been taking it throughout the season. I'm not going to get too specific into the stats. There's nothing really that I'm looking at. The odds are pretty much 50-50 fair. But the reason I like this stack is because of how often it hits together. Brown with Derek White assist has hit about 67% of the games this season. So that's the re main reason I'm taking it. They do hit in the same direction. The spread is at minus 5.5 in this Boston Celtics Golden State Warriors game. So not that high. I'm expecting it to be at least a bit tight. Hopefully no one's getting benched. I, uh, last game, I don't know if it was the last game or two games ago. But uh, Jalen Brown ended up getting benched for the whole fourth quarter. Of course, that's not what we want when we're going for an over. So hopefully this game does stay a bit tight. And the spread does look pretty decent for us in terms of a tight game compared to like a Bucks game, for example, right? So that is the reason we're going on the overs there. And then lastly, we're going to go into the Pelicans game. We got Herb Jones. We got Brandon Ingram. And of course, things get interesting now because uh, John Morant is actually back here. You can see his assist prop is up. I'm not going to be touching the Memphis Grizzlies at all until I get a bit more data on how these guys play together now that Jazz is back. I know they played together last season, but things are different now. So we're going to go with Brandon Ingram just simply on the under 5.5 assists with Herb Jones on the under 10.5 points. And this is going to be the end of the slip, but I'll just get into some quick reasoning why. So unders are juiced for Herb Jones, minus 133, minus 130. You can see all the minuses on the 10.5. So BetMGM and FanDuel actually have them only at 9.5. So the fact we're getting on 10.5 is already a positive in our direction. And uh, for Brandon Ingram, there is some juice towards the over, under. It's a bit conflicted but again the re main reason i'm taking these guys is 15 out of 21 times that's 70 percent of the time these guys are gonna be hitting the same direction there's not much blowout potential in the spread here you can see it's about minus seven minus seven on the spread so nothing crazy but if it does end up in a blowout i do think it will help us jamarath is back so he might be uh, helping the grizzlies a lot in that case but we're still gonna grab the unders and lock in this 80 for 2k